videos are for older women who are struggling with makeup. So this video is for you. My favorite product for my skin is a CC cream because a CC cream, if you don't know what that means, it stands for color corrector. And I love this one from far. I put it on the back of my hand. It's really creamy. It feels just like a moisturizer. And I like to just pat that around my skin. It just feels like a really emollient moisturizer. I like to use a lot, then I like to come around and kind of place it where I want it. And as you can see, it's already making my skin one color, evening out that skin. And then what I do is I take my hands and I just pat, pat, pat. I'm in with a concealer and try to cover up some of those dark circles. First, I'm going to go in with a peach colored concealer. So I'm going to come in and just going to lay it right where I see in the mirror those dark spots. Just like that. So now I'm just going to take my finger and just pat it and blend it out and it's going to help get rid of those dark. Next step that I do is I like to highlight my face and this is a step you do not have to do at all. So I'm going to highlight where I want lightness on my skin. So I'm going to highlight this area right in here. To highlight down my nose, I'm going to highlight in a triangle underneath my eyes. because this is taking a long time to blend with my hand. Now I'm going to come in with my sculpting palette, and if you haven't got one, a sculpting palette, these are really fun and really, really easy to use, and they can be used as eyeshadow as well. And what's really neat. So I'm going to take these two brown shades, I'm going to kind of just put them together, and then I'm going to come up and I'm going to just go over the same place that I put that um, contour stick. Again, this is a step you do not have to do, but I like the full-on makeup look. And when I'm done, it's going to look really natural. You're not going to be able to tell I'm wearing this much makeup. Okay, I picked this blush. This is blush number two. And I'm just going to sweep, sweep that on the apples of my cheeks. Upwards, and then come down into your contour. And I take a blending brush. And now I'm going to blend all those colors together. One step that is really super important when you have um, older skin, and I have a lot of bags and sags and crepiness, and my hooded eye goes almost over my eyelashes, start with an eyeshadow primer. And Pharmacy has a great eyeshadow primer. And you're just going to take it, put it on your finger, and... Pat it all over your eyelid. And that's going to create a really smooth, smooth surface. And it also helps your eyeshadow stay the entire day until you take it off. 
it is a must. Another thing you can do with this is if you have problems with um, lip products that bleed into your lip lines, with, which I do, if you take a little bit of this and just put it on a little bit of, around where your it bleeds and pat it in, your, it'll stop your lip products from bleeding into your lip line. So this has been a little lifesaver for me. Okay, so there we go with that. And now I can go back in with my eyes. And I'm trying to think of the eyes that I want to do today. And I just keep going back to just using that same palette. I'm just using the same palette for my whole face. So I'm going to start using that one of the brown shades. You can pick any of these shades to start creating a fake crease on your eyes. So my crease on my eye is up underneath this hood somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own, my own crease for my eye. So I'm going to try to fake the eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look in the mirror and I'm going to go right over the top of my eye. Just sweep this color back and forth. And I'm going to create <clears throat> the illusion that my eye is not hooded. And it's this dark color is going to be kind of like my fake crease. And you're just going to keep adding that color until you look in the mirror and you like the depth of color. So everybody has their own preference to the intensity or the lightness of the shades that they put on. I'm going to do the same to the other eye. And you can see one eye is droopier than the other. This eye is much droopier than my right eye. I'm going to come back. Just keep adding that shade. And it'll start looking like that part of my eye is receding, receding and going back. So it's, I'm going to take a little bit of that shade and put it just at the corner here, kind of tie in, just like that. Same with the other side, it's okay. Now I'm going to take a darker shade. I like this darker shade in this palette. And I'm going to tap it on my, I don't want to use my fingers a lot. I'm going to tap my finger in it. I'm going to lift up my hooded eye and I'm just going to place this brown in the corner. I'm just laying down the color. I'm going to blend it all out. But I'm just laying down the intensity of the color because once I start blending, most of that color is going to go away. So I want to kind of really lay down that color. Again, I'm going to take my blending brush, my fluffy fluffy brush, and I'm going to just blend this. Until it's soft and natural looking. Now I can come back in with a pretty frost. So I can take any of these frosty colors and I'm going to just take this really pretty color on the end. I'm going to put my finger in it and rub it around. I'm going to lift up my hooded lid and I'm going to place it right at the bottom there. And this puts light right next to dark, which is going to cre um, create the illusion that I have don't have a hooded eye. A little bit on this side. Tapping this color. Isn't that pretty? Such a pretty color. Now what I like to do is tight line my eye. I love this waterproof eyeliner and this really really helps to accentuate and open and just really draw attention to the eye. So what you and especially if you know our lids are kind of shrinking so this helps not shrink the lid or the illusion. Um, it's just really great. So what I'm going to do is just going to pick up my eyelid I'm going to do the same to the other eye. Just a little extra in this little corner and drag it out. So now I'm going to take some br the brown eyeshadow that I used in these top corners and I'm going to take a little bit of that and kind of tie my top and my bottom together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that brown color and I have a brush like this. And I'm going to just sweep a little bit of that color underneath my eye and it helps really accentuate my eyes and I'm going to take a little bit of that black and kind of just tie in the corner just a little bit just to tie those together then we're going to add mascara my mascara is getting really dried out and I just placed an order for another one and this is a star look mascara but mine is just now starting to dry out so I don't know how this is going to work so well but I'm going to use every last drop. And I'm praying my new mascara comes today. Fingers crossed. Okay, do you see how that mascara really opens up that eye? Really pretty. Go ahead and do the same 
to this eye. Okay, now I'm going to start, I'm going to add a little bit to my under eye, the bottom lashes. And I keep shaking and hitting my skin. As you can tell, I'm not a professional on these videos. I'm just using my phone. Okay. Oh, hopefully that's good. Okay, now I'm going to come in and my face is really going to start coming alive with my eyebrows. Product. And this for the money is amazing. It's like eleven dollars, and it's like a waxy, creamy feeling, and then it dries matte, and it stays all day. So I like to come and just kind of mark my brow first. Uh oh, they're playing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the middle of my eyebrow, and I'm gonna have to turn this so you guys can see because I'm not gonna be able to do my eyebrows there. Okay, hopefully you can see me. So I'm just dragging the color. So it's very, very creamy and it just glides on. It's droopier than this eye. I made it, this eyebrow higher. I came up and I, you did see me, I was pushing because I'm trying to get, um, I'm going up over my hairline on this eye because this side is droopier. is making a smoothie. Oh my God. Okay, so once that dries and once that sets, I'm going to come in and I'm going to spoolie it out and make it look much softer, okay? Okay, so I know that's not perfectly even, but that is the color intensity that I want. And now I can come in and I'll start spooling this up. That's the way my natural hair grows. And what this is going to do is really soften the eyebrows and make them look really natural. So just spoolie them and see so you can see the intensity of color is much less and this is, looks much more drawn on. So just play with them until you get them to the way that you like, the way they look. And if you take off too much of the product, you can go back in and add some more. My eyebrows, how I want them. I like to come, or sort of how I like them. I like to come back in with, an, with that ivory concealer and just lighten up a real tiny bit right under my eyebrow. And then I'm going to blend it out. Just like that. Then I'm going to blend my... And I'm blend... The transition between where I put the light and the eyeshadow. Like that. Now I'll do the other side. And that just gives really a pretty effect and it helps to look like you got a mini face right there going on. So there we go. I'm going to use the setting spray. It's called Time Locker and it will help just make them make it look beautiful all day. I think I'll use this shade. It looks pretty natural. And I'm just going to line my lips. Like that. Making my top lip a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. It's a very, very nude lip. I'm going to take some of my lip conditioner, which I should have put on beforehand. And put a little moisture in my lips. Okay, there you go. One trick I love to do is just add a little tiny frost down at the bottom of my lips. Let me show you. And it kind of just gives me a little bling on the bottom of my lips. So that is it. That is my makeup tutorial for older women. I am going to be 59 in April, and these techniques really, really work well for me and help me feel my very, very best. So go on and put on a cute pair of earrings and do what makes you happy today. So thank you for joining me if you felt that this video was helpful. If you wouldn't mind clicking the subscribe button. And um, I'm on Facebook, so if you want to find me on Facebook, that would be great too. So have an awesome day. Share your beautiful smile with somebody. Thanks.